What's up guys welcome to film or course season 3 episode 2 and today we will try to recreate speed trail effect of the flash and it can be made in few minutes using the Wondershare Filmora 13 so let's get started. First shoot some videos of your own running around in your room preferably shoot with slow motion with your phone or at high FPS if you are using your camera and I also shot another video of myself playing with a ball also keep a small clip of the background which you might need. First place the running video in the timeline if you don't have a slow motion video we can change the speed in post production in the Filmora 13. Next uh, create a duplicate of this video by pressing and holding the Ctrl and Alt keys dragging the video then uh, put it on the upper layer move the clip to the right maybe half a second then double click the clip go to AI tools in the video menu turn on smart cutout that is we want to remove the background from the person here so mark the area and it will be automatically detected using AI. So the background of the duplicate layer is removed and we got something like that. We will create few more duplicates of these clips and move them to the right about half a second just like before. So this is how we create the speed trail. Cut all the clips here and remove the extra part. Next uh, search for blur effects in the effects tab. Apply this motion blur effect to all the clips. So now it looks like this. Let's lower the motion blur effect a little. Let's apply the same to all the duplicate layers. You can save time by applying the motion blur effect before you duplicate the clips. Clip and delete the extra part to the right as well. Now there is an issue. The duplicate layers are overlapping the original character. So we are seeing this and this needs to be fixed. Make another duplicate and place it at the top track. Remove the effects from it and move it to the left to align it to the original clip. Alternatively, you can create a duplicate of the original clip and then perform the smart cutout. Now let's add a small clip of the background at the beginning. Add a transition effect. So this is how it looks now. Next, let's place the other clip of me playing with the ball. We will use smart cutout once again. So just like the way I showed you before, mark the person in the video, then click to start smart cutout. It will be done just like that. For the speed trail video, we will clip here and change the speed to 3x. You can change speed by clicking the control key and then dragging the right edge of the clips. The upper video is shot at 240 fps with 8x slow motion effect. So we will change the speed to 8x to make it look normal. We want to keep the first 3 seconds at normal speed. So clip here and for the rest of the clip we will change the speed back to 1x or maybe slower than that at half x for more dramatic effect. Next add the music clip accordingly. Lastly for the electric pulse effect we will go to the effects then body effects neon lines lightning twinned drag and drop to the clip here and the neon light effect will be added to the person in the video. Modify the effect properties here like uh, change the lightning interval intensity etc for both the clips and this is the result. If you want you can speed up the clips at the end as well. Let me show you how it looks now. So guys did you like today's episode well if so then do check other videos in this series because I made tutorials on several other live action superhero movie scenes. Don't miss it check the description for the link. Thank you so much for watching.